Okay, this video here is in a response to what Nico had, and he had a question regarding how to uh, translate a website into 64 different languages. And he was wondering specifically on the hacked MLM site if that could be put into Spanish. So let's go to the hack MLM site itself, the main page. And what you want to do is you want to grab out this entire URL right here, all the parameters, everything. Just grab the whole thing and copy it. And then what you want to do is you want to go to translate.google.com and you just paste in that whole thing and then it'll translate it over here. And right now I already had Spanish checked. Uh, French and English had been uh, ones I looked at before. And you got to drop down here and you can pick any one you want. But let's just go back to Spanish. And then what you do is you click on this little link here, the little square with the arrow sticking out of it. You just click on that. It'll open up a new tab, and if this all works right, this should now be in Spanish. Yes, here it is. It's slowly loading up, and um, okay, so here we go. Now, of course, any images aren't going to be able to be changed because they're images. I can't read those, and things inside of like input boxes like this is, won't be able to read, and anything that doesn't load with the page. So if you have any delayed load on any kind of animated elements or anything like that it's not technically on the page until you scroll down and so that won't be able to load either so if you're building a site that's going to be used in multiple languages whether through this or through the trick i showed in the other video you want to make sure everything loads all at once if it needs to be translated so um, that's one thing to keep in mind. So here, here it worked. But what will happen, though, is if we come to the inside, the training area itself, and we grab the URL from here, and we copy this out, and let's just kill that one, put this one in, and we hit the button, what you're going to see very quickly is it's not going to work. And the reason why is, and I've done a lot of coding inside of these members areas, so I'm very familiar with this, that, um, yeah, it's not even going to pull it up at all. Because what happens is the page actually reloads or redirects or does something right in the middle of the load process. So a lot of times if you're writing code, you actually have to tell it to delay itself by like a tenth of a second in order to be able to do something. And that's what happened here. So you can do the, you can do the home page but not the members area, which that's probably not what you were looking for. But I want to show you one other thing as long as we are in here. Let me just open up this new tab. And I have the page here for dropfunnels.com. And let's just open this up. And it will translate it. But this is where I'm going to show you that as we scroll down the page, if something was a graphic or something was not showing on the page at load time, it will not translate. So the uh, fancy text here, this does not translate. Uh, for some reason here, it couldn't figure out what simple home site meant um, there, but most everything else had translated until we start scrolling down the page. And then like this comes in, actually that's an image anyway, so that wouldn't have gotten done. But um, let me see here. Now I was wrong, actually his stuff flies in it does get translated. Okay, that's good. I was thinking it didn't. But um, so it's just basically the images that don't get translated. So as the stuff flies into the page that that gets taken care of too. So that's really super cool. And um, even the uh, warning notices and stuff down here at the bottom got translated. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that if you go to uh, translate.google.com, where's a fresh page here, um, here we go. So yeah, translate.google.com. You can just put in any website and translate it into any one of the 64 languages you want. So if you're working with somebody and they're like, oh, I need to read it in Portuguese. Well, just send them here with the link. Uh, you might even be able to send it to them. Let me see here. Yeah, you could like maybe do this link here. Let me see this one here. Um, yeah, I mean, you can put it in yourself and then send them this link or just send them to uh, 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 translate.google.com and tell them to put in the name and do what we saw on the screen here. And that is it. So hope you had a great day.